It's uh, Saturday morning and I'm back in the dugout, maybe for the last time because um, we were up against uh, superior opposition and I've been uh, thinking a lot about the, the tactics and I've ended up with this, just basically a 4-4-2 with uh, Brian Laudrup a little bit withdrawn from sand and then I moved uh, Schoenberg to the, the midfield, the central midfield, got Goldbeck on the pitch instead of Laudrup, instead of Michael Laudrup, who's not fit, well, he's al he almost is, could have fielded him, but um, then uh, I'd be in trouble for the next match if we should succeed. So I'd rather just use him as a, as a sub, one hell of a sub, even though his determination isn't all that great, but still, got Goldbeck uh, instead of him, and then Henriksen. It's a new guy on the pitch, and he should do fine, so I'm not really worried about that. We're using direct style, because I don't think we can outpass all of the, uh, the Italians. But um, this will probably be the last game of our World Cup thing, but I haven't told the players that, because I, I need them to believe. Right. So, let's... Uh, let's see how it goes. And um, knowing the Italians, then um, they might be a little bit cocky about this because uh, we haven't played all that impressively during this World Cup so far. Oh, there we go. Now it gets interesting. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, I'm trying to emulate Bo Johansson and, and what the Danish national team really did in real life in 98 and um, I'm not all there yet because they they were really impressive in their round of 16 where they beat Nigeria 4-1 and they also played a, a beautiful game against uh, Brazil in the quarterfinals even though we lost oh no so Brian Love from injured well it's easy to uh, to find a good substitute for him, but um, wow, not what I planned. So uh, we got Michael Laudrup, and of course I want him to take the, the corner kicks. I don't know, probably, probably also the um, like the the direct free kicks. Right, let's let's do that. Uh, lots of lots of yellow cards in the first half, but let's just wait it out a bit. Be patient. There you go. See, um, if we succeed in winning this match, then we're starting to get there. Because I mean, if we had lost, then I'd be ready to conclude that maybe I hadn't. Really, maybe I'd been too cautious in in um, in changing the players when I was um, fiddling with the uh, uh, the what, what's it called uh, the database. Right. So we've got um, Henriksen. Uh, Henriksen with the yellow card. So he's first in line for being subbed. Schoenberg isn't um, pressing too much either and with the yellow card as well so let's see how that goes but we've already spent one of our um, opportunities for substitution so I don't know about the yellow cards for uh, for Italy only one right um, similar amount of free kicks, so I um, guess we're just unlucky. And they're actually playing a little bit better, but we're up 2-0. So uh, this might um, be the breakthrough we're looking for. Also in terms of formation, actually. Because um, this, is, this seems to work out fine. 
against uh, superior opposition, like I said. Oh, I realized just now I haven't in, haven't even checked if they are if Italy are, are actually lining up. Um, if they're lining up with a three five two, like I like I expect them to, and they they didn't. They went with a five three two. Maybe because of the suspension and their injuries. And they already they already used uh, all three substitutions. And um, right, so Apolloni. What? What is that? They're using some guy called Apolloni, a, a central defender. They're using him up front. This is really weird. But um, not complaining though. This is uh, probably probably I should start thinking about substituting mm, one of the guys with the yellow card, and I think I should probably go with uh, Schoenberg. He's doing fine, but. Yeah, but he's also determination seven. But he's also a bit tired. Uh, I don't know. No, I won't do that. I'll go with Henriksen and have Yes Who come on. Uh, that was wrong. That's the thing with the fat fingers and trying to play this game on a phone. You have to make sure you're actually subbing the right players. Right, that was Who. Right, no, Schmeichel. Okay, seventy fourth minute. I am going to get Michael Schoenberg off the pitch. Alan Nilsson, just like that. And is that it? I think, I think that'll be fine. Okay, so now we've just got to wait it out. I really hope uh, Brian Laudrup's injury is not too bad. Whoa. Schmeichel. That seemed a bit panicky. So. So, seems we're in for um, an exciting final 15 minutes or so of this match. Schmeichel. It's been a while since we've seen any chances for us. It's mostly Italy pressing on for the goal. <laughs> wow. Yeah, right. And they didn't get it. But Peter Schmeichel, once again, proved to be crucial for our success. They got five shots on the target where we've got three. They actually played well. The Italians, but uh, Sand got the th the two goals. Yeah, I'm pleased about that as well. 
you don't say. And Argentina beat uh, the actual World Cup winners from France um, with a goal from one Veron out for a couple of weeks. Right. So that's it. Um, that's uh, good and bad news all in once. All in one, I get. I guess because, well, doing without Brian Laudrup, that's uh, not what I'd hoped for. But um, that's where we're at. And. Um, We are going to have to face Argentina, or Holland, or Spain without the youngest Lautro brother. So we've got Argentina in the semi-final and Holland, Holland versus Spain in the other one. So that's pretty exciting. Um, what did it just say? the same day I don't know let's find out oh that's not great so probably we'll need to change formation again um, with Goldberg suspended for one match right so that's Argentina tomorrow, the 7th of July, and well, let's just click through and see how tired they are on the match day. Okay, that's not too bad. Even though Laudrup, I don't know, is still in trouble with Laudrup, and Goldberg is suspended. We're going to need to have Michael Laudrup come back, and probably I don't know, I don't know who to choose. Uh, right. So this won't be super easy. Mm. Maybe I'll just have to go with just like a, a regular um, 442 with who and Brian Laudrup. I'll have to do without him. And that's Muller and Sand. Like that, right? So. Uh, or I could go like this. And have Tufting play in the middle. Calling. And Heinze run their hearts out, and uh, the whole midfield here, they're pretty defensively orientated. But I'll just give uh, Tufting an arrow down. And I don't know about this, maybe, the, maybe that's too much. But uh, something like this should be possible. Penalties for Laudrup, I don't know. Um, Peter Muller is poor form, but same thing with Molnar, right? So it's not really so important. So I'm going to have to ask Michael Laudrup to take the, the corners. Maybe like that. 
probably the dangerous free kick. It's not the direct free kick. So, yeah. Something like that. What do you think? Uh, that's probably the best formation I can come up with, but um, um, I won't record any more right now. So if you guys have uh, comments or good advice for me on how to how to line up these guys for for this very important semifinal, then uh, now's the time to comment. And um, yeah, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.